Hey guys, what's up? Today I will show you how to make fake error message boxes. Um, I will show you three steps, uh, actually three parts of it, how to make the messages, how to change the icon, and how to make it start automatically, you know. To make it start by its own on a given time. First of all, I will show you how to make it. Uh, to make it, it's really simple, just in your code and notepad, and any version of Windows that's after Windows 98, Windows 98, and other operating systems. Windows operating systems. Right, go on desktop. Hit right click. Stupid mouse. Damn it. Select new and new text documents. You don't have to change name, you just. This is going to be useless after. Just open it. Now, uh, the code is really simple, simple to remember. It goes like this. X equals MSG box brackets open bracket uh, quote marks here your message goes your error so called uh, you can type whatever you want so I'm just gonna set an error test test one once you once you enter your message, quote marks again, comma, space. Here put what answers will be and what type of a message. Okay, zero, yes, no, four, yes, no, cancel three, abort, try, cancel two, and okay, cancel one. For this, we're just gonna select okay, which is going to be zero plus. Now, type of message critical: sixteen question thirty-two. Information notification 48 and information 64. Just gonna select, select critical. It's gonna be 16. Comma space quote marks again. Here the title goes in like this one for example. Just gonna say uh, wait. test one and break closed brackets that's the actual message you can type in a whole lot of these I'm just gonna make a few so there it is I just typed in a few messages now once you're done typing you have to save it you can't just go file save you have to go file save as and save it in VBS select file go save as so, uh, file name new other one test now you have to save it in dot vbs space dot vbs. Uh, this is really important. If you save it, if you don't save it in vbs, it's not gonna work. So pay attention to that. Um, just a script can and can and there's no possible way of harming the computer. Uh, hit save and here it is. Just open it. Now test one. The, this is a critical message, critical error. So that is 16. Okay, and the answer is okay, which is zero. Pro. You can select any of these. It will just go on. This is a question, a 32, and the answers are yes, no, which is four. For example, uh, this is a notification. I think. Uh, that is 48. And the answers are yes, no, cancel, just two. So cancel. And okay, cancel is one. And uh, the uh, information 64. You can get these codes in the description below. This is the uh, basic part of making it. I'll now show you. I will now show you how to actually change the icon and do other actual prank sound if you want to ah, there uh, I already created one in Windows 7 right here 
if you want to change the icon, you can, uh, we're not actually going to change the original icon, we're just going to change the, uh, we're going to make a shortcut, and change the icon of the shortcut itself, so I'm just going to move it anywhere, and I'm just going to make a new folder, keep it simple, can move it any part of the hard drive, I'm just, just going to move it here, now, go wherever you put it, select it, and send it to the desktop as a shortcut. And here it is. Now, you can change the icon of the uh, shortcut. Right click on it, properties, change icon. You can select the most common one, the folder. You can choose anyone, it doesn't matter. Brilliant. Okay, and while we're here, let's rename it. Okay, you can put any name, but if you want to actually, you know, prank someone, you have to make it attractive, you know, you, to make people click it. For example, you can put games, for example. I did this in school, really, and a lot of my friends fell for it on school computers. And press OK. And here it is, once you open it. There's a second step. Change the change the changing the icon. Oh, by the way, if you want to change, edit the text. Hit right click and edit. And here it is. Once you're done editing, hit Control C. Save it normally. Now the more, the advanced part of it is making it start by itself. For that, you uh, try a lot of systems, you can even do it on Windows 98, XP, Vista, and 7. The most easiest way is, I think, uh, 7, Windows 7. You only task. Now, once you have done that, uh, you want, if you really want to scare the crap out of someone, you want to make it, you know, look like it's a real, you know, really something mighty. went wrong. So, you don't got any task scheduler for that, you can do it with pretty much any Windows, Windows 7, Windows Vista XP, 98, seriously, you can do that. Hit start and search for task, yeah, here it is, and open it. It usually takes a while actually to start, here it is, select action. And create task. General the general the name. I'm just gonna test number triggers. This you here you you may uh, set up the time. Here you select uh, begin task on schedule on log on start up blah 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 blah. I'm just gonna set on schedule on schedule one time daily weekly monthly. Today for five minutes. Choose four, four. and okay. That's the trigger. Now actions. Actually, what it's what it's going to do is we wanted to start a program. Browser and this. And hit open. Hit okay. Conditions. Uh, you can ignore this, this is a bit advanced and settings you know, if, you, if you want to you can change it but I, I just keep it like it is and hit ok now th that's really it uh, it's really simple tell me in the comments how did you actually fool someone uh, if you have any problems tell me I'll try to answer it by the way, if you want to know how to install Windows 98 and also Windows 95 on virtual PC, you can go to my channel and check the tutorials I made. I hope you enjoyed the video. video. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'll be seeing you.